Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here. I hope uh, you can find my video useful. Um, so today, like I'm not sure how many of you are interested in learning Linux. Uh, so for for me, I have used the Linux for a while, so I really like it. So I highly recommend for you to use that, like uh, if you are want to do some exploration. So one of the most popular distribution of Linux is called uh, Ubuntu. So you can go to its official website and uh, simply download uh, the installation file. So in order to install the Ubuntu, you need to create a bootable USB stick. So we go to the uh, this uh, official site for Rufus, and uh, we can download it. Uh, we go to the download section. You can find there the latest version, and you can simply click it to start the downloading. And it's kind of straightforward, so you kind of skip the ads, and it will simply download it to your local drive. And you can also read some instruction there. So I think it's very uh, like uh, clear. And usually it won't be a lot of uh, difficulty for you to go through them. So here, as you can see, I have the Rufus uh, 3.1. Seven downloaded uh, to my local drive, and then I can uh, double click it to open it. Before you open it, you will need a uh, like basically empty USB drive stick to insert into your computer, so it's the Rufus software will be able to use it. So. Uh, it also gives you option to erase the USB drive. So you make sure that you don't have any sensitive data or the data you don't have a backup in there. So make sure you have that ready. And please double check because just a disclaimer, I will not be responsible for any data like erased because of my video. So, so just to be cautious, I know it's a, can happen sometimes, so just make sure that you will not have any like data in there that you don't have a backup. Okay, and then in this is the interface, so obviously we're on the top selection for the device, you select the USB drive, the location. You, in my case, it's 16 gigabytes, and then following that, it's the boot selection. You select the in uh, Ubuntu installation ISO image. And uh, then I think uh, there's some other uh, like options, for example, the partition schema. So MBR is the default value. I think you can use that one. For the target system, it's the BIOS or UEFI, so they can also be kept as the default values. And uh, move down, there's the format option, there's the volume label, you can call it uh, uh, the like Ubuntu installation or give it a meaningful name so you don't uh, confuse it with your other USB sticks. For the file system, it's the FAT32 and also the cluster size, you don't need to really change it. So so I think after like uh, all of that, I think uh, you can basically start to uh, like, uh, in, like install those into your USB stick to make it uh, bootable. And uh, and uh, also don't, don't worry, I think in this case, it won't actually install anything yet. So in this case, it's actually the uh, step before the actual installation. So make sure uh, like you don't uh, confuse it. 
Okay, and uh, after everything's all set, I think you can click the start. And uh, because of the large size of the ISO image, so it may take a while. So probably, uh, like, uh, it just depends on your like uh, computer speed, like a CPU. So I'm guessing probably 15 minutes or 20 minutes will be sufficient. Um, and as you can see here, this is the actual thing happened to my USB and to the disk. And you can see all the status for each step and how long it takes. So as you can see, the most time consuming step is copying the ISO file. Basically, it's from your local computer drive to the USB stick. So as the actual ISO image is quite large, so it will take some time. So after it's completed, I think you can then uh, remove the USB drive safely. And we can talk a little about how to use that USB stick to do the actual installation. So uh, yeah, stay tuned.